Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening and welcome to Friday Night is Organ Music Night, complete with a working microphone, complete with a working camera, complete with a working upstairs camera, a working downstairs camera, lights, camera, action. Fingers crossed, it's all working. Good evening, everybody. That was a favourite hymn of mine, Segne du Maria, which obviously translates as... Well, Hail Mary, basically. Um, but it's a wonderful, wonderful tune. You can turn it into an amazing march. And of course, when you're turning things into amazing marches, you obviously have a tuba involved, which is why, ladies and gentlemen, I have chosen, as well spotted by Mr. Kamplatz on the way past, I was having a brief look at the chat and I spotted the word Italy. And you're right, Cam, we are in Italy tonight, in the beautiful city of Alessandria, up in northern Italy, at the Mascioni organ which was beautifully uh, sampled for Hauptwerk quite a while ago now, a couple of years ago now, uh, which is old in the Hauptwerk world <clears throat> by Piotr Grabowski, but it's a wonderful, 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 wonderful instrument. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have a request from my beautiful wife, and it's this. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is one of these nights. Yes, it's one of these Praiser has to struggle nights tonight. <sighs> so, ladies and gentlemen, so, ladies and gentlemen, yes, she has got two pieces of music for me ready tonight. Two pieces of music. Uh, what, um, the idea was, and we haven't done this, I think this is the first time we've done this this year, isn't it? Have we done it this year already? We must have done, I'm sure we did. Um, from time to time, my lovely wife decides that I need to use my brain more than I do. I, however, am the scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. I don't have a brain. At least I don't think I do. I don't, certainly don't use it very often, um, but she says it's time I should use it tonight. So she has chosen two pieces of music that I am to sight read if, if um, we sell 25 tickets during the evening. Now the rules are simple, 25 individual tickets. That's not one person buying 25 tickets all at one euro. That's cheating. Uh, um, 25 individual donations from you guys on the way past um, and I get to play a piece of music that's been taken from the pool of requests. Now, from time to time, people request bizarre, difficult pieces of music, very bizarre, very difficult pieces of music. And if, um, if I decide that they are not instantly playable during a stream, some things are sight readable and easy. So that's never a problem. Uh, for example, this, this is, oh no, hold on. This is not sight readable and easy. Oh, maybe this is one of the pieces I get to play later. No, we've played this already. I played this already. So, no, this can't be one of them. Okay, so sh she put the program together for me tonight. So this, for example, this is another march. But there are various marches this evening. And this is a solemn march by a guy called Alois Klausmann, who sounds not very French, but was actually a French composer. Um, and he composed things in a very sort of... <sighs> Giel monster. By the way, you will hear small children being tortured downstairs. It's that time of the week, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to leave it at that. Everything is fine, but um, we don't have a very happy bunny at the moment. Let's just leave it at that. So, um, anyway, so yes, so some pieces are easily, easily sight readable. This is not easily sight readable, but I have played it before, so maybe my brain will remember it. Um, and some pieces are very, very difficult. Now, a while back, a lot of people were requesting music by J.S. Bach. And I, I, forget it. I'm just never going to be a Bach player because it's, it's just my tiny scarecrow brain can't deal with it. Um, but from time to time, I may practice some Bach. That's the difference. Um, so we had one piece of Bach on the, on the 25 ticket list on that one. It was the, what was it? It was the, it was the B minor prelude, wasn't it? To D... That one. I think I need to play some music. The sounds from downstairs are rather terrifying. So anyway, so the idea is that all of those difficult pieces of music get added to a list. Uh, they all get added to a list of very, very difficult pieces of music. And when we have one of these nights where we spend lots and lots of tickets, where you buy lots and lots of tickets, then I get to play one of those uh, so you get your money's worth. That's the idea. I have to, I have to work for my for my income, as it were. So there you are. So let's, well, let's play this. Uh, this is the Marsh Solonel by Mr. Klausmann. Um, and I think, 
if my memory serves me correctly, this was an Alexander Wunderlich um, request a long, long time ago. Let's see what it sounds like.
Gosh, there you are. That's the kind of thing. So I get to play a very difficult piece of music like that, going through a million different keys. Have I played that before? I'm not sure I have. I seem to recall it being requested, but I'm not sure I have. Did I ever play it? I hope that wasn't... Maybe that was giving the game away. Maybe I shouldn't have played that yet. Maybe that was one of the requests. I don't know. It's possible. It's possible. It's a fun piece though, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed that. So yes, yeah, so we've got all sorts of good fun cropping up this evening. Of course, I will, um, I will be disappearing from the uh, <laughs> disappearing from the program as usual and delving into the world of spontaneous requests. For example, he said, checking his email. I don't even know if there's anything in the email. I'm just hoping there will be. Uh, yes, there is. Here we go. Boom. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I received the big, not just the brown book of magic, I now have a green book of magic. Now, this is, this is from the Czech Republic, and there are various um, adver advertisements here. Um, this is František, otherwise known as Fido. This is František doing his uh, advertising for his, his organ in Trebić, which I will never be able to say properly. I've tried and failed. I'll never be able to do it. Um, but um, I got this wonderful book from... František and Marketa, and they, um, it's wonderful, it's full of incredible things. I had a look at it for the first time the other night, and I asked earlier today, I said, please send me your requests for this evening, I want to play something. And it just so happens that František, without me telling him I was doing a March program tonight, um, he requested number 401, which is apparently an amazing March. <laughs> so, perfect timing. It was like you read my mind. It's number 401, which translates as Hallelujah, Alive Beyond Death, Glorious Victor. Right, there you are. There's a good translation of that. So this, ladies and gentlemen, he said, bending the spine of the book, is going to be some wonderful Czech music from, from 1830. So we're in there, we're just into the world of romantic music. Oh God, it's an A major. Oh, you fiend. You requested something in A major. I don't like A major, my least favorite key after E major. could transpose it, just immediately transpose it to A flat, couldn't I? Let's have a look. Is that easy enough to translate to that? La da 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 da. What do we have here? I'm going to play it in A flat, so I'm transposing it at sight. <laughs> it sounds more difficult than it actually is, but I just my my fingers don't like A major. I'll show you why. Uh, my fingers much prefer A flat major. They fall into A flat major, so I'm going to pretend I'm reading this in A flat major and play this amazing march. Shall we have a go? Number four hundred and one, death, victor, glorious, hallelujah, whatever. That's the one.
Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's why it changed. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I really am so stupid sometimes. Ooh, right, what a wonderful piece of music. Um, what I particularly like about it is the fact that it doesn't have the normal sort of pattern of bars and measures. Um, it's got a few extra ones. For example, the melody. Dum -ba -dum -ba 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 that's one bar longer than it should be. And then dum tum 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 tim tim tim. See, a normal melody, and I'm not, this is not a criticism, this is just a normal sort of what we are used to hearing, shall we say, would be this. We'd miss out that middle bit, yeah? And then the rest of it's fine, I think. It's not, is it? It's great, but what wonderful harmonies. I, I, I tried reading it in A major and my fingers just don't want to do it. I can read the notes, I can play the notes, but my brain just doesn't go, that's where that finger goes and that's where that finger goes. I should play at a baseball game, shouldn't I? Anyway, no, so, yeah, what a wonderful piece of music. I like a lot. Right, now we'll be coming back to that later because I see there was also an email from Marketa as well. And I think she has also suggested something. <laughs> All right, she requested number 402. So that was the next one. So we'll come back to that later. Right, now. Somebody, who shall remain nameless, requested this piece of music. But before we play it, I have to play Happy Birthday to someone. Now, this, the person we're playing Happy Birthday to, it's no longer his birthday. It was his birthday on Friday for him. Now, it's still Friday here in this part of the world. But where he lives, which is way over in Eastern Australia, it's already well into Saturday. So his birthday has been and gone. I am, of course, talking about our dear friend, Mr. James Flores, Australia's original online organist. Um, and it was James's birthday on Friday. So here today, for all of us here, it was his birthday. So let's sing a very quick happy birthday to James. Um, I don't know if you'll see this. I'm not sure if he's watching, but let's do a quick happy birthday for James. James Flores, wonderful organist over in Australia. Go and check out his channel. Good fun. He's one of the only Australian organists on YouTube, and he's definitely the original one, if you know what I mean. Happy birthday to James. <laughs> Did you spot that tiny little bit of um, Australianness at the end there? Uh, I hope you did. Anyway, fun stuff. Happy birthday to James. Yes, a very happy birthday to James. Right, quick lug free time, a quick drink of the tasty beverage on the way past, and then ah, a quick look at what's going on in the old. Ah, that looks a little bit better. Let's have a look at this then, ladies and gentlemen. Stefan. Thank you to our friend Stefan. Thank you very much indeed. Who this? Who's this? 
Ursel. Thank you very much to Ursel. Who's this? Stefan again. Th two Stefans. That's two different Stefans. Thank you very much indeed. Who's this? The Platzgang. Thank you very much indeed to you. That's very kind. Thank you. Robin. Thank you also to Robin. Who's this? To Werner. Thank you very much to Werner. Who's this? Uh, Anthony. Thank you very much. Uh, apparently, I'm to buy myself some new nappies, especially in your advancing years. Well, thank you, Tony. <laughs> That's, uh, yes, very pleasant indeed. Thank you very much. I'm sure there's a compliment hidden in there somewhere. Right, and now we have a selection of things here hidden. Who this? Jerry. Thank you, Jerry. Ha ha. Who's this? Ian. Thank you, Ian. Oh, who's this? Jan. Thank you, Jan. Gerald. Thank you, Gerald. And Brooks. Thank you very much, Brooks. Oh, hold on. I think we have another one that just came in as well. Willie as well. Our friend Willie as well. Thank you very much to all of you. Right. How many is that so far? Six, seven. Hold on. There's six together there. Hold on. Oh, I missed some. Hold on. Stop. I missed some. <gasps> ah. <laughs> Someone's cheating, ladies and gentlemen. Someone's cheating. One, two, three. Yes, yeah, someone's cheating. I'm going to ignore that. Naughty, naughty. That counts as one. One person. All right. Six, seven. Ah! Stop clicking. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ladies and gentlemen. We're up to thirteen. Let's see if there's anything else. Yes, our friend Cassie as well. So that's it. So fourteen. All right. Fourteen. Nine, uh, eleven, fourteen. Nine to go. Eleven to go. <laughs> ignore me. 11 to go. Splendid. Thank you very much so far, ladies and gentlemen. We're working. Yes, yes, yes. Multiple tickets from one person sadly don't count. Tut, tut, tut. We'll see when we get towards the end of the evening if that counts, all right? I may let it count if we get towards the end of the evening. Now, now, now. It didn't work for someone before, so it shouldn't work this time either. <laughs> uh, right, we'll say hello to everyone in the chat after this next piece of music which was a request from someone called Brian. Now, this is quite funny, someone called Brian, because before the concert started this evening, before the concert started this evening, Tim, Tim and I, that's Tim.com, camera Tim.com, we were quoting Monty Python's Life of Brian this evening. Now, I'm not sure if that's a coincidence. It probably is a coincidence. Having said that, this email came in earlier in the week, so it's definitely a coincidence that Tim couldn't have known about this, unless Tim, of course, is Brian under another name, but I don't think so. Uh, the piece of music actually ties into James Flores as well, because I know that James plays this one, and he loves playing this one. It's a piece of music by everyone's favourite mad French romantic composer, Mr. Louis-Jacques-Alfred Le Febouvelli, who was a nutcase. Uh, um, and uh, composed wonderful music way ahead of its time, and this is not a dance, uh, not a march, sorry, but it's a sort of a, it's a, it's a dance in a march style, but with three beats to the bar. It's therefore a bolero. So, ladies and gentlemen, get your fancy clothes out and get going in bolero style with the bolero de concert from Louis James Alfred Lefebvre-Velli. I have played this many times before, but I love playing it. So thank you, Brian, for the request. And this was Brian's first request, and let's hope it won't be his last.
<laughs> I love that piece of music. I think it's wonderful. I love it. It's full of drama and excitement. I love the jumps as well. You get to sort of jump around all over the organ. I love music like that. Good fun. That's the kind of stuff Kalibi Kibinyevi would have been playing as well. Wonderful stuff. So thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Right, let's say hi to the gang. Now, there's all sorts of exciting things coming up, ladies and gentlemen. You will have seen during uh, the warm-up to this evening's video while you were all saying hello to each other. Um, there was a, a poster up there. Can I re-plug re the poster? Yes, there it is. Save the dates. The Gartshaw Gang Organ Festival. This will be our fourth organ festival, ladies and gentlemen. 1st of May to the 5th of May. Five concerts. And one of those concerts, ladies and gentlemen, one of those concerts will take the form of a competition. Yes, I will only be playing part of that concert. I will be opening it up to you. But there will be more information coming on that very, very soon. Uh, I will be looking for submissions from you. Yes. And the best uh, will get the chance to take part in the competition. And there will be a winner of that competition who will actually win a physical prize. Not a virtual prize, a physical prize. So that's going to be very exciting. So that's one of the nights. There will, of course, be a silent film night where I will accompany a film here, a silent film. And I think this time, rather than use a theatre organ to accompany that silent film, I will use one of the classical organs to do it. Something different. That's going to be good fun. And then there will be other concerts around that as well. So it's going to be very, very fun. So save those dates. Five concerts back to back. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, beginning of May. First five days of May. The first of May is a public holiday here in Germany. Whether it's a Wednesday or not doesn't make any difference. Um, and uh, there will be lots of other concerts kicking about in those five days. So that's going to be very, very good fun. I hope you're going to join us for that. Now, there's another exciting thing coming up, but I won't tell you about it tonight. I'll tell you about that on Sunday. I'm in the throes of setting something exciting for the Gartrow Gang up. We're setting something up for the Gartrow Gang. Let's not split those uh, thingies. Uh, let's do it that way. And yeah, this is going to be really exciting. At least I think it will. And it's free, which is even better. Free for everybody. That's the most important thing. Right. Oh, we've had another couple of ticks. So let's have a look. Who have we got here? Who's this? Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Any? No, no comment from Nancy tonight on that one. Right. Who's this? Alexander. Thank you very much, Alexander. Very kind. Thank you, Alexander. And who this? Wolfgang. Thank you, Wolfgang. Splendid. Right. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Eight to go. Splendid, 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 splendid. Wonderful. That's virtually exciting. Right, let's have a look and see who's here tonight. Let's go and have a... Oh, what's that? What's that? Someone's been... Oh, Bodenseehorn has been sending memberships around. Oh, thank you very much indeed to you, Bodenseehorn, offering as gifting memberships to various people. Oh, that's exciting. Some of you are already members, but you're getting more memberships. That's exciting. I don't know how that works, but that's cool. Thank you. And Matt Leach was doing the old, was doing the, oh, does that count as a ticket? Yeah, let's count that as a ticket. So that will say 18 now. All right, seven to go. Matt Leach had a, one of those virtual thingy bobs there. What do you call them? What do you call them? Super chat. That's the one. Thanks, Matt. Very kind. What's this? Let's celebrate their first super on a live stream. This was Matt Leach's first super chat on a live stream, it says here. Thank you, Matt, and thank you for letting us be the first. Exciting. Right. Who's here? Nancy's here. Adrian's here. Hi, Adrian. And thanks again for your lovely um, video that we posted last week. I answered your mail, so I hope you, I hope you got my answer. Um, and very lovely to hear from you. Ian is here. Urza is here. Phil is here. Hello, Phil. Bodensee Horn is here, and thank you again for donating those memberships. Jez is here. Hi, Jez. Jim Cascagnetti is here. Dun, 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 dun. It's a bolero. We need a tuk, 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 tuk for Jim. Jim Cassie is here. We know that. 
Cam is here, Alexander is here, the blue-eyed cat is here. That reminds me of something. Orgelhase is here. Vera Miklerova is here. Oh, hello, Vera Miklerova. That's a wonderful name. You are also from the Czech Republic. Are you any connection to the Frantiseks and the Marketas of this world? I wonder. The blue-eyed cat. Right, Michael Becker is here. Michael Becker is here. Gerald Long is here. Rasbas is here. Thank you for your message, Lieber Marco. I will be answering you very shortly. Uh, Adrian, Adrian, Gerald, Phil, Vera, Nancy, Robert, Robert Varner is here. John Kranker is here. Hi. Ah, wonderful. This is exciting. Joe Humans is. Are you, is Joe here? Joe's been. He's been gifted memberships. Is he here though? That's the. That's what we're interested in. Let's find out. Uh, Phil, and we also already said we had Phil already, didn't we? Uh, Alexander, Kathy, Phil, Gerald, and Patrick Peach, the green frog is here as well. The green frog and Patrick Peach. You both sound like something from a Roald Dahl novel now, don't you? Patrick Peach and the green frog. Exciting. Exciting. Ah, Jörg Dietz is here. We know that Ursel Dietz is also here. Ah, there you are. You're in the chat now as well. Splendid. Mm -hmm. Who else is here? Christine is here. Oh, wonderful, Christine. Jo jolly good. Christine is normally in the background with headphones dancing around the kitchen. Today she's in the chat. Matt Leach is here. We know that. Uh, Gerhard Flink is here. Xing Chang Chong is here. Don is here. Don Prince. Hello, Don Prince. I know your real name. Thesaurus Rex is here too. Brooks is here. Hello, Brooks. Uh, die, diddy, diddy, diddy. I hope I'm not missing anyone. Am I almost, I'm not no one near the end. Philip Kazi is here. Philip Augustine is here. Uh, Julian GC is here from Shreveport, Louisiana. Wonderful. Thesaurus Rex is still here. There's Joe. Splendid. Joe is really here. Okay, Mike King is also here. Did I say Mike King already? I think I did. Marek Michalak is also here. Hi, Marek. Lovely that you're here. Elam Orenic. Yes, Elam Orenic. You should be a star of a Quentin Tarantino film with that name. Wonderful. Joe, Joe, Joe. Matt Leach. We've got all of you, I think. Anyone? TB is here. TB. Camera Tim.com is, of course, here. Casey Latz is also here. Hello. There's Cassie again. I'm trying to see if there's anyone else here I haven't mentioned yet. I do apologize if I'm missing people along the way. It's my eyes, you see. My eyes are old and bent. That was our quoting earlier on. Okay, I'm going to skip here, I think, because we have to. I think I'm pretty much done. Mm. Marcus B, 1999, is also here. Dan Eichmeyer is here from Ontario. Beamsville, that sounds kind of cool. Uh, it's very quiet downstairs. I think we may have had some success. Yadomir Brakov is also here. Hello. Warum auf English? Why not? I am from Scotland, so I should be speaking English, shouldn't I? Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -bum -bum. Max Huber is here. Am I missing anyone? Imprimis, that's Joe again with new names. Jans J is also here. Jans J. Leonard, Leonardo El Cabariti. That's a name. Wow, you are new. What are what? These names are amazing. I love your names. Oh, gosh, so exciting. Exciting. Leonardo El Cabriti, sprich mal Deutsch bisschen. No, this is the only chance I get to speak any English these days. Who dis? Donald. Thank you, Donald. A ticket from Donald. Thank you very much. Right, so we're now up to 18, we're now up to 19, six to go. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Would Scottish be more appropriate? Well, of course it would. I said I'm Scottish, didn't I? I'm from Scotland. It's springtime. It is springtime. Tina Selka is here. Hello. Right, you keep saying hello in the chat and I'll come and get you next time. 402 was Marketa's suggestion from the big green book. So let's have a quick look at, oh, I was almost right. Here's number 402. This should be played in the style of Scarborough Fair, she said. And the, oh, the melody is from the 12th century. I'm guessing that's what that means. I don't speak any Czech, but I'm guessing from logic that that's what that, what that means. 
Um, let's have that. I think that's probably what that means. Uh, let's have a look. And the words are from 1420. That's 20 past two. Anyway, on with the show. Number, oh, sorry, 402. What's the translation of number 402? Where's my, where's my list? Here's my list. 402. I'm guessing it's Easter-y, because it's up there with the other Easter one that we just had. 402. A. 402A. Almighty God. It doesn't tell us much, does it? All right. I'm guessing it's Almighty God something or other. There's some pane. There's something about bread in there as well. So that's good.
a lovely melody, a very famous, very, very famous melody as well. Um, that's, I didn't realize it was that old. What does it say here about the melody? It says, it says melody 1160. There you are, 12th century. It's exactly right. Ah, perfect. Yeah, and it, I, I think it's in all the old hymn books, this one. And in the this German hymn book here, it's used for Easter time and also for Ascension. It's the same tune, they just have different words. Um, it's rather cool, I like it. But it doesn't end like that. The, the Czech one, so with the last phrase is It goes up. Whereas, does it? It kind of, kind of does in this one, but it doesn't at that point. So you've got a dee da dee da 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 It ends there. And then there's this little sort of tag. Da 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 Which is rather sad. In the German version, it's a sort of, it's a Kyrie hymn. So you sing the dee da da dee 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 da da dee da 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 dee dee da 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 dee dee da dee da 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 and then as Kyrie lays, which it ends like that, which is rather lovely. So very, 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 very similar. You can tell it's definitely based on exactly the same thing, but it's ever so slightly different. So you can see the way these melodies have been passed around Europe throughout the years. Um, wonderful. I love it. Ooh, yes, I love it. Hmm, nice, 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 nice. Exciting stuff. Right, enough. How are we doing? No difference. Good, 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 good. Right, what do we have here? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Tim. Mm, I'm sure we can play around with that. In fact, I think, I think, therefore I might be. Um, uh, 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 uh. There it is. It's here. It's here. Perfect. All right, Tim, I've yeah, there it is. I've got the piece of music you're talking about, Tim, so we can get that later. Okay, what's this? Our friend Yellowbird has uh, got something here. I may have to add this to the list. I've been doing a lot of Yellowbirds of late. <laughs> okay, that's maybe one for Sunday. Let's have a think about that. Let's add it to the list. Exciting stuff. Right, anything more over there? Nothing more over there. Splendid, right. Mm. Right, good. David Pierce is here. David Peach, David Pierce, sorry, I do apologize. David Pierce is having a holiday. Oh, wow, that sounds nice. We're not jealous. Yes, we are, we're very jealous. According to the count, 51,000 subs. Yes, we, we hit the 51,000 the other day. We are over 50, oh my goodness, what's that? What the hell happened there? Someone's what? Bloody hell. Joe! Gosh, Joe, thank you very much indeed. That's generous. Right, Joe, that counts, that counts for, that might count for two tickets in that case, Joe. Gosh, thank you so much, Joe. That's very wonderful. Thank you. Wow. That will, that will change. That will change things. That will change things. If you're interested in sizable donations along those ways, may I suggest PayPal? Um, for the simple reason, and this is not me being ungrateful or anything like that, but the simple reason, uh, Google takes 30% of that. So 60 bucks, 60 bucks, boom, is gone. 60 bucks is gone. So the 199 that it says there, the 200 that it says there, 140 will come to me and the other 60 will go straight to Google. So. That's fine, you know, Google can do what they want to do, but I just thought I'd mention that. Uh, but thank you, uh, nonetheless. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Exciting stuff. Don Prince says bank transfer. Well, that's the, uh, definitely the... If you're in Europe land and you have an IBAN, an I, I -B -A -N, if you have one of those, it costs nothing. So that's even better. Anyway, I'm not being ungrateful. Thank you so much indeed. That's absolutely wonderful. Gosh. The large donation might have been in light of the fact that you keep getting confused for being English. Well, it's my posh voice. I can't help it. It's the way I was brought up. Um, Matt Leach owns two square feet of Scotland. It's to help do some reforestation. That's a very grand thing, Mr. Leach. Um, I will contact you about that. There's, uh, 
there's a backstory to that kind of thing. I will contact you about that. Mm, but yeah. Ian Lavery, it's only 120 miles from here. Oh, you're talking about where these things are. Gosh. Anyway, splendid. Google is greedy. Yes, unfortunately they are. But nonetheless, we are not ungrateful. Thank you very much. We are always grateful to everything and anything. Wonderful stuff. Thank you. Right. Let's close that. Shall we say we're at 20? Let's say we need five more now. All right. Let's say we need five more and then we'll see. I don't know what's coming up, so I'm excited. Could be anything. Could be anything. While we're waiting for it to change, uh, while we're waiting for it to change, I'm going to, where was it? Recently, somebody, there it is. Oh no, damn, that's not the right one. That's not the right one, so I want this one. Is that any better? Yeah, that'll do. Um, back to the beginning. Uh, yeah, here we are. Here we are. Um, where is it? I need to think chronologically here, which is not easy. There it is. I'm thinking chronologically, and that's the one we want. Um, our friend cameratim.com was out playing the organ the other day, as he is wont to do, and he was playing, he was playing music and laughing at people dancing along. All right, here's another ticket. What's this? Joe again. Ooh, does that count now? Yes, that does count. 21, folks, 21. 21, we're getting close, we're getting close, and we still have 40 minutes. And Tim was at one of these sort of meetings where you all get to sit around and you all get to play. An open console is what you might call it at an organ, or a piano, or a pub, I don't know where they were. And, um, People were playing fancy tunes, people were humming along and singing along, and Tim got them all singing along with this one. Cue the copyright.
I have no idea what that was, ladies and gentlemen. Um, a very bizarre, very bizarre version of a yellow submarine. Um, I always try to hide these things so that the copyright thieves don't get in on it. But theoretically, that one is still copyright claim, claimable because Paul McCartney is still very much with us. Seeing as he wrote it, he does he own the copyright to his own tunes anymore? He sold them all to um, Michael Jackson for a while. I think he may have got them back again. I can't remember. Does anyone know? Can't remember. Anyway, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Right, that was exciting. Um, yeah, don't you love these tubas? Oh. There's something magical about this tuba. If you have, this is full swell. And if you have that coupled. Especially down at the bottom end here, it just sounds so big and beefy and lovely. Ah, oh, it's bloody deafening, though. Tell you that for nothing. Camera Tim.com. Rubato is my middle name, according to a bassist I occasionally get to play with. Ooh, Tim, you never played for dancing then, did you? Um, you have to learn to play, uh, play for dancing. And then you must never speed up or slow down. You must stick to your guns. Yeah, if you want to learn tempo, play in a dance band where you have real, actual dancers. Um, they really hate it. Okay, that is definitely not what I was looking for. Um, what's that? That's also definitely not what I was looking for. Uh, damn it. I'm in the wrong place, aren't I? Yes, I am. I'm in the wrong place. Poo, I'm in the wrong place. Ooh. Could that be what's on the request list? Oh, oh my goodness, me. Play the tango, says Joe. Shall we play a tango? All righty.
No cha-cha-cha, it was a tango. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Fun! Oh, I like that. I can get used to that. Cha-cha-cha. Yeah, when you've got a wonderful... I'd love to play this organ in real life. However, it doesn't have... It doesn't have a 32-foot reed, this enormous... It doesn't have that great farting thing down there in real life. It doesn't have it. Um, there's a couple of things it doesn't have in real life. That's one of them. What's the other one? Who can remember? Jerry, you can remember. What's the other thing this organ doesn't have in real life? There are two things it doesn't have. I can't remember what it is. It does, however, have this amazing... This amazing thing, the tuba. It also has bells, apparently. Oh. It has bells. That means it's capable of playing a certain piece of music. However, hold on a minute. The bells are on that manual, which means... Ah! That could be pos... Cam, that could be possible. Let me have a think about that. That's a possibility for Sunday. Ooh, that might work. I'd forgotten it has bells. Um, what else does it have? Who can remember? Jerry, the only thing you need is the tuba. That's true. That's not the answer to my question, though. <laughs> um, farting thing. Is that a technical term in the organ, in the pipe organ industry? Yes, definitely. Having said that, if you were able to fart that loudly and that rhythmically and create that noise in the acoustic, you'd probably die during the process, wouldn't you? Maybe you could do this. That might be more doable. That sounds more like it. Oh yes, eat lots of that and lots of that and this will ensue. Da -da -dun -da -dun -dun. Way. Anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, yes, see a proctologist near you soon. I've no idea where that came from. There it is. Found it. Found it is. Found it. Joe, because you're being so generous tonight, Joe, you're going to get this. Uh, <laughs> For those of you who don't know, by the way, Joe is a real Jack Benny enthusiast. Yes, he too plays the fiddle. And like Jack Benny, though, all the hair on Joe's head is his own. Hmm, there you are. <laughs> There's a wonderful piece of music written by Lewis Muir. There's a good Scottish name for him. And Morris Abrahams. Not a Scottish name. Um, it's a wonderful piece of music from 1912. We played this not that long ago, but it's so good I'm going to play it again. It's... Uh, dedicated to our wonderful friend, Mr. Joe Humans. It's called Ragtime Cowboy Joe. Yes, I know you live in South Carolina. That's not really cowboy country, but it's definitely one for you. So, Joe, get your dancing shoes on, go and dance around the room for your darling Marie and see what she says to this.
Ragtime Cowboy Joe with her ladyship in the background. Her ladyship in the background. She came up to say thank you to Wolfgang Koenig who, who entered into a membership to the channel this evening. So thank you very much, Wolfgang. I didn't get that on the way past, so thank you very much. Well done. Well done. Pinky Zuckerman. Pinky Zuckerman. That's definitely not a Scottish name either. <laughs> wow. Shlomo Mintz. <laughs> That's an even more Scottish name, I would say. Is this Joe making up some wonderful, uh, wonderful Scottish names? Who this, ladies and gentlemen? Who's this? Jörg. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much, Jörg. <laughs> Jörg says I should be playing in jazz parlours rather than churches. Well, I spent most of my adult life playing in jazz parlours and in churches. And yes, playing, playing jazz in churches too playing jazz parlor music in churches. Yes, Vanessa's here in the background. Give us a hand, Vanessa. Show us your hand. She's, oh, how confusing can you, she's putting her hand through all the cables. Just put it around the side. Show, show everyone you have two hands. Well, People up on, right? You don't believe that that's Vanessa, do you? Vanessa, wave your hair in front of the camera so people can see it's you. Yeah, look. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa said, what, don't people believe it's me? Do they think it's a, a rubber hand from the freezer or something? Uh, um, yes, we've been watching, uh, we've been watching too many, um, too many, um, what do you call them? Um, cop, cop things on, um, on um, Netflix. That's the word I was looking for. Yes, Shlomo is a Hebrew name. Yes, we know that. We know that. We know where all these names come from. Uh, <laughs> um, my great uncle was Jewish, which means I can I can do Jewish jokes. I'm I'm allowed to do Jewish jokes because my great uncle was Jewish. Is that right? I think I'm allowed to do that. That's the way it works. Yeah, I don't think so. Cop shows with rubber hands. Yes, Nancy. It's a yes. It's it's. Um, you don't want to know. It's a very bizarre place we live. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 22. Shall we do it? Vanessa's coming up to show me what it is. Oh, sod it. Let's just do it. You've been very generous this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, look at this. My membership gift plus my annual ticket could count as number 25, couldn't it? Oh, all right then. All right then. Okay, I'm going to hand the device to Vanessa and Vanessa is going to find the piece of music that I'm going to play as a, as a request. Vanessa, here. You've got to find the piece of music from the list. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Okay, she's okay. okay. We're having the short one apparently. We're having the short one. I already played the long one, <laughs> so I was right. That piece of music that I played at the beginning was actually going to be the 25 ticket thing, one of them. So, this is the second one. All right, do I get to see what it is? Oh, oh, I know what that is. Oh, okay. Was that on the list? Was that on the list? Oh, Vanessa thought the title was nice, so this is why she chose it. It's, it reminds her of Christmas. Well, I suppose it does. It's a Christmas piece of music. It is Christmas, isn't it? She says, Vanessa says it's Christmas very soon. It's Christmas very soon. All right. Michael, thank you to Michael for an extra ticket there. There we go. Thank you very much, Michael. Very kind. Is it Michael or is it Michael? I don't know where Michael is from, so let's find out. Right, this is actually, this is actually a piece of music that I am, I've never played it. Are you going now? Well, she's buggering off. That was it. She just came up to, to look at me and tell me to do things. Oh, all right. The little one's asleep, you see. Little one's asleep. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. <laughs> cheeky, 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 cheeky. All right, the piece of music in question, ladies and gentlemen, is by Peter Tchaikovsky, 
Peter Tchaikovsky. It's a wonderful, wonderful piece of music. And actually, I do know it. I've never played it actually as the piece of music myself, but I am currently teaching someone to play it. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, yes, this is, this is, uh, well, let me just tell you what it is. It's the dance of the sugar plum fairy from the Nutcracker Suite. Oh, this is lovely. And this is an arrangement by our good friend, Mr. Jonathan Scott. Now, you know Jonathan Scott. He is one of the Scott brother duo. His brother Tom is the other one. Jonathan Scott arranges lots and lots of beautiful old orchestral classical music for the organ. And our friend Alexander Wunderlich, um, his daughter Steffi. Steffi is one of my students and Steffi is definitely um, learning to play this piece of music at the moment on the organ. Steffi only started playing the organ about a year and a half ago now and she's already at this level where she can start playing things like this. Now, um, I've only been teaching Steffi this, I've never actually played it myself, so this could be interesting. Vanessa's leaving the scene, she's leaving the room. So I need to think of some registrations for this. Okay, now. Okay, we obviously need the we need that one. So let's find a nice registration for that. Um, hmm. Actually, we might be able to do something fun here. Ah, that's quite good. Oh, that's quite good. I like that. Let's have that. Right, that's my right hand. So the left hand can be here. That can be there. And then we need something cute here. Blah, 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 blah. We need something naughty here. How about... How about that? That sounds good. Right, let's have that on there with that there and an accompaniment. What would the accompaniment be? That. Yeah, we need all of that. Okay, that's fine. Do we need any... Do we need to change registrations? Ugh. Do we need to change registrations? Mm. Uh, we'll, we'll make it up, we'll make it up. Ladies and gentlemen, the dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy this evening's 25 ticket request. Do we know who requested it? She's gone. She's not telling me who requested it. Okay, well, whoever it was that requested this and added this to the pile of requests, thank you very much. This is rather cute. Here then, uh, we'll dedicate it to all of you, but especially to Steffi, because this is me making a mess of it. Steffi can probably play it better than I can now. Uh, this is Tchaikovsky's Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. What a lovely choice.
I think we'll do that again. Oh my God, that's more difficult than it looks. Okay, let me talk it through you. Gosh, that's much more difficult than it looks. Okay, so we start with simple. I've been teaching this. I should be able to play it, shouldn't I? That's terrible. Okay, so we start. Here's the melody in the right hand. So, and then we get this, and then we jump back. So there we go. That's better. And then boom, straight into there. Okay. I can't do that. And then, ah, this is from here. But we don't want that there, do we? We want it here. Okay. That's the first page. That's not too bad, is it? Now there's this funny bit, which does all sorts of bizarre things. It's okay. And then I'm jumping here. So far, so good. Now for the easy bit. Sounds very difficult, but it's not. Change the page. Come on, change the page. And then back to this. Now, this is where it gets very difficult. My God, that's very difficult. You're supposed to do that. Oh, where the hell am I? That's difficult for the coordination. What you're supposed to do there is we have the melody. which is easy enough, it's all chords, you get your hand in the right position, you're going, but the left hand and the feet are going. So they're going boom, boom, chit, chit, 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 boom, chit, boom, chit, boom. And at the same time, you're doing this. Oh, that's quite difficult to do. And then here we're doing it again. Uh, chum chum, doodle doodle drum. Ah. <laughs> and then uh, doodle. That's not easy. Gosh, Steffi, that's tough. <laughs> that's really tough. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Gosh. The song was translated. It's not the dance of the sugar plum fairy. It's the fart of the sugar plum fairy. The fart of the sugar plum fairy. Yes, this bit. There's a wonderful organ version of it by Jean Guillou, who's that wonderfully eccentric French uh, organist, sadly no longer with us. Jean Guillou died a few years ago, and he has, there's a wonderful version where he does it. And he does that, um, he does that down in the feet. He uses this, he goes, uh, he does it down in the pedals, which is, how does he do it? Ah, so, yeah. But I think, I think that sounds more raspy and it's easier. What he does, he does it like this. He does, um, he does all the jumping. He, he's doing stride piano. Yeah, he's doing this. He's doing this kind of thing. <laughs> and then that comes in. I think it's easier not to do that. 
That's easier. And then you're good at that point. Mm, wonderful. Well, thank you very much for that wonderful request. I very much enjoyed that. I have very much enjoyed that. Um, yeah, so whoever it was that requested it, thank you very much. It's been in the pile for, well, it's been in the pile for quite a while. So I wonder who requested that. Thank you very much indeed. And that's actually rather embarrassing for me because um, if you are teaching people to play certain pieces of music, theoretically you should be able to play them yourself. So that was me sight reading it for the first time properly. Uh, well, for the second time properly. So yeah, I like that. That's definitely a keeper, isn't it? We should, we should do that. All right, I know, I know. We should do it. We should, we should do it on a theatre organ with actual bells, shouldn't we? Let's load up the theatre organ quickly. Click, pong, ping. There we are. There's a theatre organ, ladies and gentlemen. Now, what we can do with a theatre organ, you see, I can take that registration. I can get rid of all this crap here. Uh, but I'm going to add some of it. Oops, back on. Um, yeah, there's nothing there. So we need the bells. So there's the bells. Now we can have the... We can have that somewhere else, you see. We can have it there. Yeah, we can leave that as it is. Let's get rid of that bottle. I can't see a bloody thing. Um, but if we have... We could have, we have a piano. Sounds quite good with a piano, a vibraphone. That's what we want. That's the sound we want, folks. We want, uh, we could have a vibraphone or We're onto something. That's better, isn't it? And then we go like that. Uh, no, we want, uh, what do we want? That. That's what I want. Then pong. Yeah, that's it. Uh, where was I? Yeah. Crescendo. Now for the difficult. You could do that. Yeah. Then we want to go. Uh, mm, we need to do something else at the end, don't we? What do we need to do at the end? Uh, we could do that here. work. Yeah, I think we'll practice that on a theatre organ. Don't you think that would sound quite good? I think that would sound quite good. It's gone midnight, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't mind. I'm on the theatre organ now, which means it's jazzy music time. 
We've had a few, a lot of generous goodies tonight, ladies and gentlemen, so I think we can keep going for a little while. And I think what we can do... Actually, here's a piece of... No, no, it's a boring piece of music. Let's not do that at all. This, however, is a beautiful piece of music. And who will we... Who shall we dedicate this to? I'm not sure, actually. Uh, let's dedicate it just to everybody. Everybody who's had a shit week. Um, I haven't necessarily had a shit week, but it's been... It's been a week of sleepless nights once again. Um, it's definitely not easy at the age of 50 odd having a, having a little baby. All those people who say, oh, it gets better. Well, I wish the sleepless nights would stop. Then it would be better. I'd be quite happy if that stopped. Everything else is wonderful, but the sleepless nights, a year of them, <sighs> taking a toll, folks. Little man, you've had a busy day. A little, little grang, you've had a busy week. Little man, you've had a busy day, which I quite like, which I quite like. Shall we stay with the L's tonight? I quite like the L's. Bum, ba -do -do -de. Ba -de -dun -de -dun -bum. This is one we played ooh, a while back, but it's one of my favourite jazz tunes of all time. In the big band style. Ba -ba -ba -do -de -dum -de -dum -dum. It's a nice swingy number. I will change the cameras over so you can see the walking bass go down and do its thing because I want to. 
the walking bass. Bam, bam, ba, do, de, do, da, do, da. Keeps, it's the only fitness I do, ladies and gentlemen, playing the organ. Little White Lies. <laughs> lies. I love that one. I love all of those pieces of music that swing along like that. you got a lot of swinging to do tonight, ladies and gentlemen. What about this one? I'm not going to tell you the title. I want to see if you know. I want to see if you know the title of this one. Um, it was written by James P. Johnson and Andy Razaf back in the 20s. I'm going to guess I'm going to guess around about late 20s, 27, 28, something like that. I won't tell you the title until afterwards. If you know it, then let me know. <laughs> it's an old jazz standard. Don't shazam it. Just see if you know it. Here's the verse first. <laughs> Thank you. 
Anyone? Anyone get that at all? Did anyone know what that was? I bet you didn't. Louisiana. That was a dedication to our friend Julian from Louisiana. It's a piece of music just called Louisiana. But a baby. Wonderful, wonderful. Right, final number for this evening, ladies and gentlemen. People are leaving. People are leaving, which is a terrible shame, but that's fine. It's been it's late in certain parts of the world. Uh, is it here? It's not. But, uh, it's not. Oh well, sod it. Let's play it without the music. Um, one of the one of our concerts that's coming up during the festival in May is going to be a trip around the world, and um, a, 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 a trip all around the world. We're going to be playing tunes and melodies and compositions connected to places all around the world. And there's one particular city in this magnificent world of ours where a lot of tunes have been written about and uh, this is one of them if you know the title of this please put it in the chat um, I'm sure someone will definitely know this one The Lullaby of Broadway. Well done, Joe. Joe got it right. Of course it was. The Lullaby of Broadway. Good night. 
Ladies, good night, gentlemen. Well, that was it. That was Friday night has been organ music night. It was going to be a night of marches and marching music. But as usual, we strayed from the path and then finally got our way back at the end there. There were a few links, there were a few requests, there were definitely more than a few tickets. Thank you very much for your generosity this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Very kind from all of you. Thank you. Uh, big thanks, of course, to Joe for his amazing uh, Tickets and um, super chats there. Thank you very much indeed. And of course to Bowden Zehorn who was sending memberships around to the Garchur gang. If you want to become a member here, it entitles you to uh, use all these wonderful, wonderful emojis that we have. Thanks to Uza Mayo for all those emoji cons, emoticons, whatever you want to call them. And um, thank you, of course, to everybody else out there in Garchur gang land for a wonderful evening. I had good fun. I hope you had good fun too. We will see you on Sunday for more fun and games. And I will have some news for you on Sunday as well. A new toy for you all to play with on Sunday. So that's going to be good fun. I hope you are looking forward to that. And I hope to see you all on Sunday. Spread the word. Uh, yeah, spread the word. We need more. We need more people. More, 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 more. Hundreds of people, ladies and gentlemen, is what we need. Let's see, this evening, this evening we've had over 700 clicks. That's not bad going, that's live so far. How many thumbs up do we have so far? I hope you've all added a thumbs up on the way past. It lets YouTube know that we're having fun. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. I think it's time for the Bye Bye Blues, don't you? See you Sunday. <laughs> Thank you.